indeed. Great to see the veterans of the jumping team doing so well. Back here on the Olympic Park, you know what? It's not always about the elite when it comes to the games. We are talking grassroots. I told you there'd be some kids getting involved here. We've got an ITF initiation, as well as the Brazilian Tennis Federation, as well as... Um, We've got the ICF president here, haven't we? Good to see you, David. Good to see you as well. Isn't it great to see all of this action going on? Well, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, this week we've had thousands of kids that have come out to play in competition. It's all about leaving something behind, which we will with the uh, Brazilian Tennis Federation when the, when the Paralympics and the Olympics are done. Awesome. And I saw David have a bit of a hit. You got a good smash on you, friend. Well, well, thank you. I did my best with what I have to work with. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you, David. Now, let's take a little walk, shall we, and move over this way and see these kids getting in action because um, we're going to change racket sports, actually, right now. Uh, move on from tennis and talk a bit of badminton. We talked about the Adcocks, the hubs, husband and wife pair going in the mixed doubles. Sorry, guys, getting in your way of the game. We talked about the Adcocks, mixed doubles, seven seeds in that competition. But you know what? In the men's singles and in Rajiv Yusa, Great Britain have an eight-time national champion, a two-time Commonwealth silver medalist as well. He's pretty disappointed not to get past the group stages back in 2012. And here in this competition,